Hi friends, hope everyone is good and fine. In this video, I'm going to explain how to enable virtualization and hyper threading in ASUS motherboard. Here I am in BIOS, while well, the system start up or power boot or restart, at that time we can enter to the uh, BIOS settings in ASUS by pressing Del, Cre Del, sorry, Del key or F2 key. F2 or Del key, we can enter the BIOS setup. On the BIOS setup, I can see the screen. From here, I need to go to advanced mode. Here we'll get a more options we'll get here. From that advanced mode, again, I am selecting the advanced mode. Okay, from here I need to select the CPU configuration. The virtualization and hyper threading comes in this module. We can see a scroll bar here while moving the scroll bar. Okay. Uh, first, we need to enable the virtualization technology. Uh, by default, it is enabled for my purpose. I disabled it. Here, I will show how to enable by just clicking these two options is there enabled and disabled. Here, I enable the virtualization technology. Uh, then, I need to enable the hyper threading. Suppose we are going to install any VM virtual machine or virtual software. If we are if in need, we need to use any. Mm, logical CPU then the hyper threading must be enabled that is the purpose of hyper threading here I started uh, enable both the virtualization technology and the hyper threading technology uh, this is very simple in Asus motherboard as well as in all other uh, similar to all other motherboards uh, this is quite good interesting and uh, a good feature of the uh, latest motherboards uh, asus motherboards uh, for vm technology suppose we are using vmware or any oracle uh, vms or ms vms we need this uh, hyper threading technology for use the um, logical cpu uh, this all about the enabling virtualization and hyper threading hope you enjoyed this video if it is helpful to you please subscribe thank you have a nice day. Enjoy.